New video in this morning of the West Mims wildfire. This is video of a strategic firing operation. It's a controlled backburn type of fire. So if the Okefenokee fire reaches this area, it won't be able to spread any further. Currently, the fire has burned more than 148,000 acres and it is still growing. The West Mims wildfire is still just 15% contained and nearly 600 firefighters are working to control it. Our Alex Osidas joins us from St. George in Georgia with the very latest. Fire crews is still working their way down State Road 94. You can see another one from Baker County here as it works the south end of this fire. But today it's going to be the east side up on 121 that is really going to be testing fire crews. We've been watching this fire continue to spread. Florida Forestry helping with this fire tells us that there were some advancements overnight where the lines were breached. As of Friday morning, more than 950,000 gallons of fire retardant in water has been dropped on parts of this fire. Wind continues to be a problem that's kicking up embers that could set small fires away from the front lines. Now we saw as notices were brought to folks in Nassau County getting them prepared in case the fire jumps and they need to evacuate. Only voluntary at this point. Here's what Florida Forestry had to tell us about their game plan for Friday. We can get helicopters to drop water on any small breach, to cool it down, get bulldozers on it, put a line around it, bring the engines in and put, the, put that part of it out. In St. George, Georgia, Alex Ositis, First Coast News. And of